Good morning. I'm Axel, your personal testing companion. I'm here to monitor you through the testing course so that your experience is fully recorded to be examined in the future. Before we start, it's important to understand that testing will be very dangerous and I can't interfere with your testing experience to prevent any injuries or possible fatalities. Now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, the testing will begin now. Tunnels can be pretty hard to latch onto, but you'll get the hang of it. Zero. Yes! Level zero. This first test should be very simple. You'll fi- Yay! I knew you'd be able to do most subjects experience overexhaustion from testing as hard as you just did, so here we have one of many rest areas designed for your health. Feel free to take a nap or something. I won't watch. Another test done. I'm sure you're very excited to finish them all. You'll love what we have for you afterwards. You may have already noticed the Ecliptic Industries short distance tunneling device. It's required to continue on to the next tests. Most subjects may fear the Ecliptic tunneling device. You did it! Tunnels can be really cool, but it's important that you understand the safety guidelines that come with it. I'll read them as we continue on to the rest of the test. Rule 1. You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metals tend to repel tunnel technology. Rule 2. Not really a rule, but you shouldn't worry about falling from high altitude. The weird things on your legs take up all the shock. Rule 3. Do not straighten your arms. The device has a big kickback when you fire, so you don't want to break any bones. Or new level! Don't be intimidated by the size of the room. Velocity, or speed, is constant between two tunnels. For example, if your pencil happened to roll off your desk into a tunnel on the floor, or your other tunnel was on a wall, it would fly out of it. Objects you may be carrying with the device will also retain their speed along with you. I should probably mention, if you're scared of heights, try not to hit yourself in the head for blowing your arms. Brain dead subjects cannot test. At least I'm afraid of them. without any guidance. According to numerous psychological studies, this indicates that you are one of five out of six humans who have cognitive and analytical skills. I should warn you, as beautiful as the energy projectile may look, do not reach out to touch it. Seriously, it will kill you. Maybe I should tell them to make these chambers harder. After all, you're practically flying straight through them. been solving these chambers at a superior rate. That's... a compliment. Anyways, to continue testing, you'll need to trade your tunneling device with a modified one in the middle of the room. Please, continue. Congratulations! This modified version of the device gives you the ability to place both tunnels. As fun, yet extremely deadly as this may be, please remember our motto. If your life is on the line, it's safety guideline time. That's not an official motto. I just made it up, but you get the idea. One, two, level five. 
test subjects from shooting me with a tunneling device. Only test subject I've met so far, but you sure One, are a great. Two, level seven. Thank you. 
before you. Wait, watch out for gun.
next two chambers test you on everything you've learned so far. Don't worry, you can do it. Great job, only one more to go. You're okay. Seven. Oh, uh, all right. Let's continue. on everything you've learned so far. Don't worry, you can do it. Great job, only one more to go.
here's power maintenance day. It's okay, we'll just wait a bit. See? What did I say? Ah! What? This isn't part of the test? Grab onto something! 